Max, what do you think the future kind of holds for Nick and June? Is there a world where they can kind of maybe reunite in a way and, and share a moment with Nicole again? Or do you think they're too far gone and on their separate paths to kind of be emotionally capable of that? It's a really good question. We never know what's going to happen. I mean, I've, I'm so bad at guessing on The Hammer's Tale about where things are going to go. Um, Max, my first question is for you. Uh, we get to see more of Nick's home life in Gilead this season, which is interesting. Um, how do you think he's coping with having to kind of like move on from June as a form of self-preservation while still like struggling with this desire to like protect and help her? You just answered the question, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, he's look, he's trying on these Gilead shoes, I think more earnestly than we've seen him done to do so previously. I don't think they fit very well. And I think over the course of the season, um, he finds himself again. Yeah, definitely. And I love his working relationship with Commander Lawrence. It's kind of this like oddball Me. dynamic almost. Um, and I think considering the known history of Gilead and kind of what we know about Lawrence and his sort of the coming downfall of Gilead, maybe, what can you say about his uh, journey in season five and maybe even beyond that, Bradley? Well, I think he's uh, yeah, it is kind of a Trump Lindsey Graham relationship with uh, with Nick. Um, uh, <laughs> um, no, uh, uh, you know, I think uh, I think this is a moment where, um, uh, you know, June has blown on the spark of Nick's decency and mine. It's part of the power of of that uh character and um i think she's uh shown me to my surprise a possible path uh to redemption which will require me uh getting engaged in the political uh, uh process and seizing on a chaotic uh moment um and uh you know, he's under a lot of pressure. It's very dangerous. Um, you can't be uh, naive about uh, going up against a totalitarian regime or trying to make changes in it. Um, so he's in a very tough position. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, everybody is. You know, Nick is also, <laughs> everybody's yeah. in a tough position. You know, Max, what do you think the future kind of holds for Nick and June? Is there a world where they can kind of maybe reunite in a way and, and share a moment with Nicole again? Or do you think they're too far gone and on their separate paths to kind of be emotionally capable of that? It's a really good question. We never know what's going to happen. I mean, I've, I'm so bad at guessing on The Hammer's Tale about where things are going to go. This year has really proven that to me, that I'm not... My, my radar is off in a wonderful, wonderful way. I think the show is constantly surprising. I think these characters are very dynamic and... Um, and unconventional, right? So I can't, I can't use my conventional thinking. But um, I look, I think, I hope for Nick that he <laughs> has, whether it's with June or anybody else, just some moments of humanity in a life that seems to have not provided him many. Yeah, and I think those flashes of humanity are what make these characters so great. I mean, it's the same thing with Commander Lawrence. You know. You can more than ever, you can kind of see the gears in his head turning about what's going on in Gilead this season. Um, so do you think he has like an ultimate end goal in mind or is he still kind of in that self-preservation mode of I'm just doing what I can to survive here? No, I think he's putting himself out uh, on a limb that he feels is required of himself, uh, you know, as again, as a, as a form of uh, redemption for what he I think he deeply feels he owes Eleanor. Um, uh, I think he's changed by the loss of her. And I think uh, that June has inspired him in a, uh, you know, in a really, you know, kind of uh, surprising way, <laughs> but it's very dangerous. I mean, he's done, I, you know, you think about, uh, I think there's also a recklessness of the loss of Eleanor that um, uh, uh, I, I don't think he's worried about his own death outside of how it may diminish the strategy. I think there's a kind of abandon uh, 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 to him now, which is really fun to play, but it's a very dangerous situation. 
Yeah, he's just playing fast and loose this season. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's all I've got today. That's my time. But uh, thank you so much. It was a pleasure speaking with both of you. Thank, thank you. you.